welcome to the second Eat This Mush video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to quickly go over uh, adding uh, and creating clients to your account. Real quick, I just want to note that uh, I did add a logo to my demo account here. Uh, pretty proud of that one. And uh, this will uh, this will show up in, if your clients are using the site themselves, this will show up in the corner like it does here. Or if you're creating PDFs and sending emails, this will be automatically inserted into those PDFs or emails. So when you do uh, create a client, you have two options. You can either invite the client to fill out the info, their info themselves, or you can create them directly. Uh, just real quick, if, uh, if you do want to invite your clients to create the account themselves, uh, you have this link that you can send them here. And uh, if they do use that link, you'll be asked to approve their account before they're fully added to your account. Or if you just send these emails, you can uh, paste some emails in here. And then your client will not have to be approved. They'll be directly added to your account once they uh, fill out some things. So uh, I'm just going to create an account for this demo here. Uh, let's see, demo client 89 at example.com. Uh, so filling out this email, it'll generate some username and a temporary password. You can change those. Um, let's see. And then down here, you have a couple options. Enable automatic weekly planner. By default, this is disabled. The generator will not uh, automatically give them a new meal plan every week. Uh, we find that a lot of trainers uh, prefer that they kind of have full control over the meal plans that their clients are getting. They don't want to uh, have the generator give them something that uh, the, the trainer might not fully approve of, or they at least want to take a look at it and maybe make some swaps uh, And before the client might accidentally buy groceries without realizing that you haven't looked at it. So we leave this disabled by default. Uh, also, this welcome email, if you do want the client to use the account themselves, uh, then uh, you can have this send them their their temporary uh, login information up there and it'll ask them to change it once they do log in. Or if you just want to have this client be something that stores some preferences and you're going to create the PDFs yourself, uh, just leave that disabled. So you create this client, it'll show you the info here, create another user or if you want, or you can just be finished. And immediately after that, it'll be added to your client list down here. So one thing to note is that by default, we just give them some very general nutrition targets. Uh, you're probably gonna wanna change this and you can do so in this actions menu for the client to the right side. Uh, so here I'm gonna edit the settings and this is kind of where you can change everything for your client. Uh, you have a nutrition profile up here. You can edit this profile however you want or if you calculate targets from their uh, user profile, you can fill out their uh, info over here and then uh, this button will kind of fill out everything. Or alternatively, you can just kind of uh, use your own sort of set of calculators and put in whatever numbers you want right here. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that whenever you change your client's preferences, it's not going to immediately change the meal plans that are tied to their account. That's something that we kind of maintain across everything in Eat This Much, is that uh, in order to change your meal plans after you change your preferences, you kind of have to regenerate them. Uh, because in case someone's already bought groceries, uh, you or your clients, we don't want to immediately regenerate everything in case they're still trying to follow these meal plans. We don't want all those groceries to go to waste. So moving on to the next tabs, we have food preferences here. This is kind of where you manage the exclusions, uh, things that don't get suggested in the meal plans. Uh, so you can make some changes up here. And same with any allergies or anything down here. You can kind of just select foods. If you regenerate the plans, uh, then uh, based on what I just did here, all vegetables would be excluded. Um, same with uh, anything else. You also can type in some keywords down here and anything that uh, you type will be kind of, uh, if it matches any keywords in the recipe or the ingredients, it'll exclude those as well from the next time you generate plans. Uh, so let's see, you also have a meal layout over here. Um, this is kind of like what determines the structure of their meal plans. Uh, you also have the option to have different layouts every day of the week. So in case you want to do like some carb cycling or have uh, different calories on workout days, things like that, you'll want to use these settings here. Uh, leftovers, you can kind of change leftovers patterns and you'll see a preview down at the bottom here of what those leftovers are going to look like throughout the week, like how they're going to be carried from one meal to the next. Uh, the next important thing is recurring foods. Uh, this is where maybe if you want your client to have the same protein shake every day, you can set it to recur always in a meal. Uh, for example, here I'm going to look for a shake. 
let's see in the recipes ideally let's find a shake uh sure let's have this blueberry shake you can drag it or press the add button say set it to recur always maybe you want one cup and this will show up in all of their breakfasts and uh, you can kind of do that with uh, any meal maybe if you want some supplements to show up in your clients uh, meal plans every day uh, you can do that like just like i've done here uh, next page generator options uh, this is some of this enabled automatic weekly planner this same kind of thing that uh, i selected when creating the client you also have uh, a couple other options here like generator focus, uh, net carbs versus total carbs, and a price limit. And the last tab, finally, the account tab. This is uh, pretty similar also to what uh, we filled out when creating the client. And that about wraps up creating a client. It, as soon as you do add a client, they have access to all the premium features of the website. Uh, and if you do want to stop managing a client or remove them, it's also in the three dot menu here. You say stop managing a client. As soon as you do that, they will be uh, disconnected from uh, the premium features and your account. Uh, but the client can still use that account if they have been. They won't lose any uh, lose any information. They'll just have to subscribe on their own if they choose to. And uh, that about wraps this up. In the next video, I'm going to talk about uh, meal plans and everything that goes on in this tab over here. Thanks. Thank you.